welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'd like to give you an idea of how many different varieties of poinsettias you can get at Christmas. It's not just the classic red one that most people think of, but there's actually over a hundred different varieties of poinsettias, ranging from the palest of pale, such as this one here, this is almost a pure white colour, going to a very deep red colour, such as these more traditional ones here. And as you can see, even some of the green leaves are almost black, because they're so dark. There's also lots of other ones uh, and some are even kind of a purple colour. But poinsettias as I say most people buy them for Christmas time and they're normally just red and green like this one here. But I just like to give you an idea of how many other different varieties there are out there. I'm also going to talk about when you're buying them what to look for in the plant because they're very particular plants and most people will find that poinsettias die in them very quickly. But I'll give you a few tips as to what to look for when you're buying them so that they're going to last longer for you and also just a couple of tips on how to look after them. So what I have here is six different varieties of poinsettias. Poinsettias are actually a type of euphorbia, so because of that they have milky white sap. So if you do ever handle a poinsettia, just be careful you don't get any sap on your skin as it is quite an irritant and it can cause uh, a mild allergic reaction and you can have a rash from it. So they come in a variety of sizes and shapes. The way that the growers can produce them is they only flower when the daylights get shorter. So that's why they're a good plant for Christmas time. And it also means that they can specify what size that they'd like to plant. So because of that, there's a whole different variety of sizes you can get them in. Now here's an example of quite a small one. It's not the smallest you can get them. You can certainly get them smaller, but this one is a, a very small one, you can see there. The smallest you can probably get is probably just the size of this one stem there. And as you can see, they really are quite small. But poinsettias in the wild actually grow as a large shrub, almost a small tree so they can become actually as large as people would like them to become. Now growers don't normally let them grow much more than two or three foot because they're hard to ship and they get too expensive and people don't really have the space for a tree in their house. But, so this is a size that is quite common. As you can see, it really is quite large. Lots of lovely colorful bracts on it and that will give a really big display. That's more of a specimen plant. Whereas if you don't get them as a specimen plant, what you can do is do what I've done here and that is arrange them as a quite a nice kind of display for Christmas time. So I'll talk through some of the ones I've got here. As I say this is a very light cream one but otherwise it's quite a standard colour. There's a couple of different types so that you can either get them as one uniform colour like this here. As I say you can get yellow, white, pink, purple, loads of different colours but just as uniform colour like these two. You can also get speckled varieties. So I've got a speckled variety here and when I'm talking about the different types of leaf form, you can get all the different colours and all the different speckles and everything like that. Well, that's why there's over 100 different types. So this is more like the speckled variegated type. This is quite a nice Christmassy one, I think, especially with the red and white and the green. Really give you some nice Christmas colours on that one. But the most Christmassy one I think of, um, personally, traditionally, I would think of the red and green as the most traditional, just because that's one that was always around. But I think this one here is a really nice... Um, Christmas one. I put it in a golden pot as well to really contrast with it. This one's nice because it has variegated foliage. So although the the bracts are just a uniform colour of red, the foliage is quite spiky and is uh, variegated as well. That really reminds me of kind of um, holly. So variegated holly looks a lot like that. And holly is another traditional Christmas plant. So I think that looks quite nice there. See quite traditional Christmas colours. It looks really nice with that variegated leaf. You can see it just adds another layer of interest. This is the, the standard variety with just red bracts and green leaves. But that extra yellow really helps to highlight it and gives it a bit of extra interest. So moving along, we've got the two toned varieties here. So this one is toned that the middle and of the midrib, this is a good example on this little leaf just down here. The center of the midrib, as you can see, is quite pale. And as it branches, as it goes to the edge of the leaf margin, it's a darker in colour. And you've got the complete opposite with this variety here. As you can see, the uh, midrib of the leaf, the centre of the leaf, is a darker colour. Towards the edge, it's more lighter colour. And actually, this one's going completely cream. It can vary. You know, you can have ones like this one back here, which is uh, it slowly goes to that colour. This one has got a definite line where it changes in colour. So as I say, with all these different aspects in the varieties, 
you can have over 100 different types. So that's why there's so many to look for. Uh, but you'll normally find just about five in most garden centres. But if you look around to different garden centres, they get them from different nurseries, you can get 10 or 20 varieties if you just do a bit of shopping around. So when you're buying a poinsettia, there's a few things to look out for. Poinsettias are tropical plants. They like uh, warm temperatures. They can't handle any frost whatsoever. The smallest bit of frost will kill them pretty much instantly. And they also can't handle cold temperatures. And this is a reason why most people find poinsettias don't do well for them. And in fact, a lot of the time, it's not the, the person's fault that they're not surviving. It's actually the fault of the shop or the supplier or even the transport company. So poinsettias, as I say, are tropical plants, but we tend to grow them in winter and at the coldest time of year because they're a nice Christmas plant because of the red colours. And also winter is the time that these plants naturally flower. In the native environment though, they would never experience frost. So, so the first thing you've got to look out for is any signs that this plant might have been under some stress and may have had some cold in its transit. So when it's transported from the nursery to the garden centre, most Good nurseries will make sure that they transport it into a lorry that is actually indoors so it doesn't have any cold air getting to it. If it's been badly transported it will have had um, the lorries outside so that instead of being inside the greenhouse the plants are taken out the greenhouse into the lorry and then if those lorries aren't heated properly they get below, below 5 degrees or even to freezing they'll start getting damaged to the plants. A well transported plant will be kept above freezing and in fact will be kept more like 10 degrees in a heated transit. So the way you can tell with that is if you have a look at the leaves. There's a, a couple that I have here. If you see it has dropped some leaves and the leaves are sitting on the bottom of the pot, that's a sign that it's had some transport issues and that it's gotten, getting a bit of shock and it's dropping its leaves. Another thing to look out for is if there's any browning of the leaves. So you can see on here this leaf is going a bit brown, it's also quite limp, so that's had a little bit of damage. So when you're looking at the plants, first of all, pick them up. They'll be in a plastic protective container. So when you see them in the shop, they'll be in a plastic piece of uh, polythene like this, and that'll be protecting it, but that'll mean that you can't see it too well. What you want to do is just tease it out a little bit from the container, have a look, see if there's any leaves that have fallen, see if there's any brown bits on, on the leaves as well and that way you'll be able to tell if it's a good plant or not. When you do buy the plant, the second thing you want to make sure is you keep it in its protective sleeve, like this one here. The reason for that is they're so sensitive to cold, if you take it between the shop and the car and it's below zero, or even if it's below five degrees, or if it's windy, the strong wind and the cold temperatures will quickly destroy the leaves. So you want to keep the plastic film on at least until you get back home. Then when you get back home, you can take it out of the container, just carefully pushing from the bottom or using scissors so you don't damage the plant. And then you can pop it out and put it in a nice position in your home. So when you do go and buy your poinsettias, do make sure that you go at the warmest point of the day and also have a look at the weather forecast. So if it's going to be a cold day, I wouldn't go out. If it's anything below 5 degrees, don't even think about buying a poinsettia on that day. If it's going to be above 5 degrees, make sure there's no wind and make sure that when you do buy the plant, transport it quickly from the garden centre, front door to your, to your vehicle. Otherwise you're going to have some damage again. If it's below freezing, don't even think about going out and buying a poinsettia to be honest. Because the leaves are so thin on these plants, even a few seconds below freezing can kill the leaves off. So it's a complete write off if it's below freezing. And it's a good idea to get your plants early on either late November, beginning of December, and the reason for that is once these plants are in the shops, they're not going to be looked after quite as well, and also when you're coming into December with the colder weather conditions, it's more likely that those plants are transported in a cold temperature as opposed to a warm temperature, so make sure you buy your plants as soon on as possible. Also, it means that if your plants do start to die and drop all their leaves, it gives you time to go out and buy another plant and make sure it's in a good condition for Christmas. And if you do wait till the very last week, just before Christmas, you'll often find the selections a lot smaller and the leaves are really starting to drop off the plants and the plants aren't doing too well. So once you finally get your poinsettia home, you want to sit it out in a nice position. Obviously, you want to have it somewhere nice on display. So you'll probably put it on a table or somewhere. You don't need to worry about too much about daylight because um, this plant isn't going to be growing for you. It's just going to be sitting there for a month or two until you either throw it away or you put it somewhere else to grow for next year. 
So you don't want to put it on a windowsill. Although windowsills will give it plenty of light and is a good position whilst they're growing over the summertime, poinsettia should be put away from the window in winter. This is because the cold coming from the windowsills can really damage the plants and they, the, the temperature fluctuation will dry out the leaves and cause more leaf drop. Also, if it's next to a window, you can often get some cold drafts and airflow and that will really dry out the leaves. The same with radiators. So I've just set this up for displaying for this video and I will actually keep this um, display here but this one on the right I'm putting elsewhere. As you can see though it's right next to a radiator. If that radiator was on that would be a very bad idea. The hot dry air will quickly dry out the plant. The leaves on that side will quickly go crispy even after a few minutes. So if you've got a poinsettia keep it away from any radiators, keep it away from the window and just have it somewhere that's nice and bright so you can enjoy the, the, the flowers. Now when it comes to watering, poinsettias really don't like to have wet roots. They like to be kept really very dry, almost to the point of wilting. Especially over the colder months when they're not going to be drinking much water anyway. So what you want to do is pick up your poinsettia, feel how heavy it feels. So for example this one is actually very dry on the surface but I can feel a bit of weight. And as you see when I scrape away the surface of this, of this pot, it is darker underneath and I can feel that it's damp. So I'm going to leave that a bit longer. Only water your poinsettias once they feel very light and very dry. But you want to water them before they start wilting. If they start wilting, you're going to cause a little bit of damage to the poinsettias. So wait till they're, they're, they're really quite dry in the top. Wait until you put your finger down about an inch until you feel any moisture. And then give it a good, a good watering. But don't let it sit in any water. So if you do buy a pot such as this, which doesn't have any drainage holes, these pots are nice and ornamental in winter, you know, you can put them inside there, it makes it look nice and Christmassy. Also means if you water the plant, you don't have to water about, worry about the water coming out the bottom of the pot. But the problem with these is if there's any water left sitting in the pot for more than, say, half an hour, the compost is going to get really too wet and your plant's going to rot off and die quite fast. So what you want to do is once you've, your plant is dry enough for watering, check it's, it's ready for watering, give it a good water. Sit it back in its pot, leave it there for half an hour, come back in half an hour, have a look, and then you'll be able to see if there's any water in the bottom. If there is water in the bottom, you can throw that out. If not, then you could put a little bit more water in, but you definitely don't want it to have it sitting in water at all. An ex example is this one. This plant is actually definitely showing signs of stress. You can see how many leaves are already fallen off there and how many are in the pot, and the, it's continuing to fall off. So if your plants like this one, I did follow all my uh, advice that I've just given you to be quick taking it in, keeping it out of the cold. But unfortunately that's obviously been transported po poorly. That's why some of the leaves are falling off. But I've had other plants which have grown for me year after year. I'll put in a couple of pictures of them now so you can see that, that they do come to flower year after year if they are well looked after. But as I say, with poinsettias, even if you give them the best of care, if they've not been transported properly in the past, before you bought them, there's not really much you can do. They're just going to die on you and, there's, and you just have to live with that, unfortunately. So that's it for my poinsettia video. I'll put up another couple of videos now so you can have a look at my other videos on how to look after them and how to encourage them to re-bloom re for next year and also how to prune them.